Hi Marg and Jackie. I thought I would uh, show you how to export from iMovie using another app. So yes indeed, when you, when you make um, movies with iMovie or with the app I'm going to use right now, which I really love, called Explain Everything, you can actually export these and send them to other computers or email them or put them up to YouTube. Explain Everything is $2.99. I think iMovie is about $9.99. Both very good. So here we are in the iPad version of iMovie and this is the project that's open right now and I've cr let's suppose I've created my movie and I'm done. This is the help menu so if you forget what I'm saying today that's where you would go to ask questions in iMovie. It's a good help menu but in order to export this movie out of iMovie you're going to use this button down here a uh, little box with an arrow out. So that indicates that you're exporting. Click that. S so up pop some options. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually just send your movie to your camera roll, which will make, uh, it'll render a movie in your, in your iP on your iPad that you can then email to somebody. You can send it directly to YouTube if you don't mind it being public. You can send it to Facebook, same way. You can send it to Vimeo if you don't mind it being public, if you're going to share that way with people. I've, I have both a YouTube and a Vimeo channel, so I've used both of those. The other thing you can do is just send your project to iTunes if iTunes is connected to your, um, your um, iPad. And all of our school computers have iTunes. So if it's going to be an iTunes file that you're going to create, it will be MP4 and viewable on a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, devices like iPods, iPads, iPhones, and also on with QuickTime. And if you're going to send it just to the camera roll, it will end up as a .mov file and QuickTime will be able to view it and uh, it's on our QuickTime's on our network computers and also VLC will be able to view it and it's on our network computers. And the last thing that will pop up sometimes is especially if you're sending your iMovie to your camera roll so that you can email it somewhere. Uh, the last thing that will pop up is it'll want you to set, select a size for exporting it. So if you're just viewing it generally for social stories, I'm guessing that probably um, medium would suit you just fine, but you can experiment with that. It'll <clears throat> Our email might be uh, limited by file sizes, so it might be safer to pick the medium or large size. I hope that helps. Enjoy!